Two Broke Rednecks presents... Blake, director, and BK Blake, incorporated producer. Can you say nepotism? So it's a film about people ignoring each other and doing their own thing. The bat phone's ringing. I'll get it. Perverts hello. Anonymous, how may I help you? Yes, this is Mary. Oh, hello, Frank. What? You do? Great. Getting the clap was on my to-do list. That was Frank Roberts. He wants me to go to a dance with him tomorrow night. Out at the lake. Sure is a dance. Well, we all feel that Mary is still a little young to go out in the evening. But, but she's, she's 36 so years old. That's right. Sorry, Mary. But I'm afraid the answer has to be no. But I already chipped in for the keg. Did anything like this ever happen in your home, in your family? No. When it does, what is the usual reaction? I'd kill my parents and go to the lake to establish an alibi. What do you think she should do next? Should she do this? Hello, Frank? The family says no, so I... No, I'm willing to put out, but Dad wants to keep it all to himself. Bye. You've just seen one way to meet an everyday situation. Was it the best way... No, because it didn't involve murder. Or should Mary do this when her father says, Sorry, Mary, but I'm afraid the answer has to be no. Okay, Dad, I'll call it off. Say, how would this be? Why couldn't I have Frank and the gang over here tomorrow night? We could play strip poker and raid your liquor cabinet. And make sandwiches? Hey, that would be swell. It sure would. It Damn it, get back under the stairs. Absolutely. You go right ahead, Mary. Oh, thanks, everybody. I'll tell them right away. <laughs> that was method number two. And smelled like it. There's a third possibility. Can't I go, Daddy, please? I want to so much. Sorry, Daddy. Mary, but it's all settled. I just met this family one all. That's how it's it. done around here. That was method number three. Here's number four. Is this the one where she Watch shoots him in the face? This time. Sorry, Mary. Okay, Dad. Hello, Frank. Listen, the family says no, but I'll sneak out tomorrow night and meet you anyway. Okay? Sorry. Yes, I'll do that thing to your butthole you like. Night. In your opinion, did Mary do right in scene one? Scene two? Scene three? Scene four? If so, or if not, why? She didn't do right in any of them because it didn't involve death and dismemberment. Now are you ready for the next family scene? Who's this go. guy talking to? Same people we're talking to. And Bill and George and their parents finish supper. Dad, we need to talk about your drinking. We even got an A&E well, camera crew. Who's gonna help me do the dishes tonight? Why, I'd like to, Mother, but I've got so much homework. And my vibrator is waiting. Me, a hand for a change, Howard. me, I should say not. Bitch, this is nineteen fifties. You know, men legally I'm can't wash dishes oh, if married. Oh, some other time, Mother. Uh, some of the fellows are waiting for me down at the corner. Here, Chuck, I'll the adventures of a male prostitute. And it's my opinion that if everyone in the family would lend a hand once in a while, we'd get the work done that much quicker. Years later, they would consider so this the reason I Howard was gay. He wanted to. Which type of answer do you think is best? One like Mary's? Father's? Bill's? George's? Or an entirely different one? The guy's asking questions Why? again. Just ignore him and he'll go away. Next, suppose we look at another very familiar family situation. This one always takes place late at night. Is it scared of daylight? In downtown spending the evening with friends. He was supposed to get home around 11. But as you can see, it's going on one. And he smells of liquor late. and cheap perfume. Uh-oh, father's awake. So what should Bill do and say now? Here's Throw up on him and giggle one. a lot. What kept you, son? Uh, oh, it was like this. You see, Skinny tripped and twisted his ankle and we had to carry him to the hospital. Well, I don't mean we carried him. We, we took him there. In a car. 
Oh, well, it wasn't exactly a car. It was more like a wagon. Are you sure you're telling the truth, Bill? No, because I failed BS 101. The trouble with this family is nobody ever believes me. Even when I bold-faced lie. That's one way to meet a problem. Here's another way. Where were you, Bill? It's none of your business. And if you want to live, you want to ask again. And beginning now, that's just what I'm going to do. Now, I'd like to see you or anyone else try to stop me. I'm going to run away and join the mafia. Now look at possibility number three. What kept you, Bill? Oh, sorry, Dad. I was fooling around with the gang, and it was 12:30 before I realized it. You know. Well, I don't want to hear about your wild sex parties. Anyone who comes in late can't go out again for a week. That's right. It's too bad, but... Oh, that's all right. It was my fault. A teenager right. taking responsibility for their actions? Unheard of. Using the Johnson family for illustration, you've seen several possible ways of meeting typical problems. Except for the ones that involve murder. Your own. Remember what these problems are? Well, there you're going to tell us anyway. And we'll review them for you briefly. In your opinion, what should happen when an invitation is received by telephone or otherwise? Make sure there's going to be plenty of liquor. What is a good course of action when it's time to do the family housework? Tell people to piss off. What procedure do you recommend when someone comes home late? Beat the shit out of them. Questions like these are kind of tough to answer in any family. Great, now this smoke well, is to talking to us. Them, okay? You're absolutely right, George. Most family problems can be solved through frank and friendly discussion. If that Which fails, the there's always death and dismemberment. Dude, Burger and X. We don't make bad movies, we make bad movies better. Thanks for watching.